Hi guys, and today I'm at the project shop, the classic project shop in Bicester. Check out that beautiful D-type replica here. And there's lots of other interesting cars around the back as well. We're gonna have a look at those cars, but I'm here to see my buddy Simeon and not so much to check out his cars, but to actually show him mine. Yes, the BCG BMW E30. Now, Simeon has offered to have a look around the car, check it out, see what's good about it, see what's not so good about it. I'm a little bit nervous about today, if I'm honest, because Okay, I know a lot about cars, but I'm not very really mechanically minded. I've had a look over the car. To my eyes, it looks okay, but I can't really see what horrors might lurk beneath and what the reality of it is, especially underneath the car. So today is a little bit, I have to say, you know, my heart is racing a little bit. I'm not sure what he's going to say, whether, you know, I bought a good un or whether this is actually a dog. We're actually going to find that out today. So stay tuned. We'll look at his uh, workshop. We'll look at some of the cars he's doing. And he's going to have a look around this. And then he's going to give us our, his verdict on the BCG BMW E30. Hi there Shaz, we're uh, here at Project Shop in Bicester. This is our, uh, our service department. Um, so it, today we've got all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful cars. We've got a Mercedes uh, 600 Pullman that's in for a service. Uh, also gearbox um, fluid change. We've got a Mark II Jaguar which is having a load of funny little gremlins uh, sorted out. Uh, a Porsche 912 which we're changing the clutch on. Uh, and a David Brown aircraft tug, which we're rebuilding the uh, fuel injection system, diesel fuel injection system on. Uh, this is a customer just dropped. He's got um, a little hill climb uh, in what I suggest is probably a low cost or something. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it's running a turbocharged uh, Volvo uh, engine and it needed a new radiator because he stuck a, um, a, uh, a rock through the front of it. Um, so that's just being done there. And then waiting for tomorrow, we've got a Range Rover a Classic in for a service, um, an Austin Healey 3000, uh, which is needing to be recommissioned. It's been off the road for about 10 years. Um, we've just put an electronic ignition in the Series 1 Land Rover, uh, and then both the Mercedes and the Alpha are in for annual services. <laughs> I've owned a lot of uh, E30s over the years. Um, it all sort of stemmed from a childhood thing uh, where I used to see them driving around coming into school and I absolutely loved them. Uh, and all the dads who had them were slightly cooler than my dad. He drove an old Volvo. Um, so basically as soon as I, I could, uh, I bought this car uh, originally um and uh, actually owned it three times sold it when i went skint and, and had to had to buy it back um but uh, it that one's always been a permanent feature in my life apart from that i've owned all sorts of other e30s from convertibles touring one touring we actually drove all the way to um to the arctic circle through norway which was brilliant fun um and and they've they've just always been around. There's an M3 just up here uh, that uh, had the pleasure of selling a few years ago. Um, but uh, in fact, there there was a a point where I probably said I would have uh, sold my three children before uh, EBO <laughs> went again. But uh, sadly, Tell it me sold this. two years ago. So this one, um, this basically to commemorate the car after uh, after I sold it. Uh, and my wife had it done by uh, an artist who um, who used to come into our coffee shop, uh, and they're my three daughters around the outside of it, uh, and uh, yeah, the car's all all 
all made out of cardboard. <laughs> With the brakes, what I would do is, unless you want to get into changing calipers and all of that sort of thing, um, is basically put uh, original OEM or, or good quality brake discs on them and then just upgrade the pads, have a slightly um, better compound on them, so something like a Mintex, I think they're 1144s, um, uh, and basically that's just a fast road pad, so they're a little bit more aggressive. Um, and, and, and really I'd leave it at that because otherwise you get into changing calipers and then all the modifications that we've talked about come from there. So when, when you wash your car um, with the jet wash, just poke it up the back here and give all of that a good clean out because it's where the uh, mud flicks off the back tyre and it sits up behind this plastic panel here and it just rots out the fuel pipe just here at the top. here and use some Vactan or uh, Rust Cure just to type, just to stop any rust there. That's obviously a previous repair. There's your battery box just here at the back. So what happens is the battery leaks at some point and then the, the acid rots it out. So all I would do with the, with the car right now, because it's all lovely and original really under here, is just give it a clean up, sort out this little bit of the battery box, and just again where there's gravel rash off the front wheels, uh, clean it up and then use something like a clear coat of, of, of a product called Buzzweld, which is um, a lanolin based product. Um, and it, it goes on and just leaves a, a, a hard protective wax right over the bottom of the car. So it's largely good news uh, for the brown car guy and his uh, E30 325. Uh, we've, uh, we've obviously had a, a little look over uh, the outside of the car and the interior trim and bits and pieces, which is all easy to see and, uh, and it's a lovely, really well presented car. Underneath though, um, whether it's luck, judgment or uh, whatever it might be, uh, we don't know, but actually the underside of the car is in really good condition. It's obviously had a fortune spent maintaining it over a good period of time. Um, all the suspension, brakes, um, bushes and bits and pieces are all recent uh, additions to the car. Uh, the actual underside of the car itself, 
there's almost no repair work uh, in it, which again is really, really rare. Um, it's something actually that you find on the, uh, on the SEs um, is less of a problem because they don't have the big body kit that runs down the side of the car and they don't have the moisture uh, that's, that's uh, held uh, against, against the side of it. So they don't tend to suffer uh, as much from structural rust as the sport cars do. Um, but really the only place which uh, there's been a small repair is the battery box um, at the back of the car. It's in that far corner. Uh, and you can see where there's been a little bit of a, a repair there. Um, just for, uh, for, for, for sort of future proofing the underside of the car, there's a little bit of gravel rash in the four corners just at the back of the wheels. That could do with um, a bit of a clean up and a repaint um, and, uh, and, and probably a wax oil product because the car's largely going to live outside. Um, so, uh, so what it wants is a clear wax to seal the underside of the car. Otherwise, it's been beautifully serviced. It's a really good buy. Well done, Chas. Whew! <laughs> what a relief. I tell you what, my goodness. I didn't know what to expect today. I honestly didn't. I mean, thinking back to the previous E30 that I owned in the mid-90s, when I bought that car, I looked at 10 BMW E30s at that time. I had three of them inspected and two of them, which I thought were good, turned out to be rubbish. And I finally settled on that third one. So having you know gone to an auction and only just walked around this thing and just had a very cursory glance of it and then going on doing the online thing. I mean, honestly, it was like, okay, it seems to be a good price. Find out what the price was in my previous video on this channel it seems to have been a good price but you're still thinking well i may have saved money on the price but am i gonna have to f fork out a whole ton of money to get this thing fixed up and roadworthy and what have you turns out no this is actually a good car okay so there's a couple of things that um simeon recommended that be done so stay tuned uh, i will be looking into getting that done one other thing that he also mentioned which i don't think was on camera was that it needs to be serviced and to get the cam belt changed so again all of those things i will be uh, doing so stay tuned and that coverage will come up as well um and a big shout out and a big thanks to Simeon and his team over at the project shop in Bista. Do go check them out. So much cool stuff there um, for having a look around the car and most importantly, for giving it a clean bill of health. What a relief. <laughs> Stay tuned. So much more to come on this car. Hashtag BCG BMW E30. A big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nayajan Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy.